Zero League Mai Sin Yeah, never say die, got to go, go Yo ho everybody and welcome to the next Yu-Gi-Oh! GX deck profile. It's me Cooper and today we're going to be talking about the season 1 character, the Admiral. This is a, a one-shot character that showed up out of nowhere, was extremely goofy. They gave him a goofy voice in the dub. I thought he was kind of funny and honestly he had a pretty interesting deck. If you like water decks, this is your man because he loves himself some Orca Whale. He's got himself a Daedalus. I may have gifted him a Neo Daedalus, but that's just because I'm a nice guy, and because it has existed within GX Season 1 time period, so why not? Um, this is the Admiral's deck. So, looking at this deck, some of the rarest cards you're going to find in here, you have the Daedalus combo from the Structure deck. That's super good. The Legendary Ocean, which lowers the level of your monsters in your hand. Super good. And, you know, just uh, one trap card is whatever, honestly. I don't think it's very good, but that's all he had. So, we're going to go ahead and dive into what the Admiral is all about by starting with his attack stat. And the attack stat of the Admiral is going to be nice because he's got 1800 beaters he's got a 2900 boss monster a 2600 and um what is it mini boss monster a 2100 mini boss monster he's got 1600 five stars but with the field spell they're only four he's got a 1900 a legendary ocean searcher gift from me um, he's got a Maiden of the Aqua Tank. That's not very good for the attack stat. He's got Torpedo Fish and Cannonball Shell, a, spe a Spear Shell Fish, which is not good for attack or defense. But it does have a use in this deck, I promise you. So overall, big attack, big attack, big attack. And these can all be, I mean, these right here can be summoned with only one tribute if you, uh, with no tribute if you have a Legendary Ocean. This is a four-star monster. If you have a Legendary Ocean and you have ways of searching it. So that's pretty freaking good. This deck is a menace when it comes to the attack stat. In fact, the attack stat of this deck, because he has 1900 beaters, because he has 1800 beaters, because he has a single tribute or no tribute 2100 beater, because he has a two tribute or one tribute 2600 beater, I gotta say it, even with these monsters lowering it, this is a six bar attack deck. This water deck from the Admiral is super freaking strong and it hits like a goddamn truck. But now we got to get into the Admiral's defense stat, which not good on Sea Snake. The, even though Neo Daedalus not good, Daedalus not good, Orca Whale not good. Um, Deep Sea Warrior actually good. 1800 is pretty good for uh, it's a five star, but it could be a, a four star a possibility. I have to count that as a possibility now. So 1800 four star, not bad. 1800 five star, not great. Um, a legendary guy, not good. A maiden of the aqua. He has three 2000 defense point monsters. That is super freaking solid. That is amazing. I have to give her credit for that. She is an amazing tank to have on your team, and she's not hard to get in your hands. All these monsters, like I said, they're not very good for defense, but defense is a lower average than attack, so they're not that bad in defense. They're just not usable, really. Um, no real defensive cards we need to talk about here. All I could say is Maiden of the Aqua saved this deck because the rest of these monsters suck. Uh, these monsters, my Deep Sea Warrior might be okay as well. So overall, I'm going to give him a four star average in defense. Now, I normally would go lower or high. It's actually a hard mix. It's because he has so many low defense monsters. His boss monsters have extremely low defense. When they're one tribute or no tribute with only 1200, it's just not good. It's not good. And most of his other monsters are just ass. If, if it wasn't for Deep Sea Warrior and Mania of the Aqua, he would actually have a three bar. But Mania of the Aqua by itself probably just made it a four a bar because it's just 2,000 defense beater. Anybody with a 2,000 defense beater is a menace. So average defense, I would say four bars. There's nothing wrong with it. Definitely usable from the Admiral. This water deck is pretty damn interesting. But now we need to get into the speed. And the speed is something I'm going to have to say. I know you guys hate when I say it, but it's going to be weird because this deck has a special summon with a Neo Daedalus, but it's very situational. Orca Whale and Deep Sea Warrior, it's not a special summon, but technically they could be summoned without a tribute, which is speed. But that's only with a Legendary Ocean. So you know what I'm going to say? 
These cards aren't speed, but a Legendary Ocean counts as a speed card. Only in the, because of the way this deck works, a Legendary Ocean is going to count as a speed card. Salvage searches your graveyard, that's a speed card. Um, big wave, small wave definitely is a speed card because destroy all your face up water monsters you control. Then you can special some war monsters from your hand up to the number of monsters you destroyed by this effect. This is a speed card. It's really freaking good. So, and shallow graves. He's got triple shallow graves. Speed, speed, speed. Even if you're speeding up your opponent as well, it's still your choice. So speed, 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 and then speed, speed 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 <laughs> holy crap this deck is fast in fact this deck is so fast i'm gonna give it a six bars in speed this is a super solid speed deck this is a terrifying speed deck especially since i'm counting the legendary ocean so that's gonna be it for the speed stat now it's time to get into the skill stat let's see what kind of burn stall or whatever this guy's got so doesn't run tornado wall so that's kind of ruined um no burn no burn destroys the whole field though so that's kind of nice but that's not technically what we're looking for right here uh destroy one monster or one spawn trap nope that's not what we're looking for uh immune to spells that 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 could have been stall if it had a legendary fisherman's of other effect but nope um no no skill creates umi that could actually be used with deep sea warrior that's not bad torpedo fish while umi's on the field unaffected by any spells that again good combo but it's not um technically stall or burn or win condition or anything like that um shallow grave kind of tribute one monster look at your opponent's hand looking at your opponent's hand that is something that's gaining information shallow graves if you have this many i can consider that stall honestly this deck is not skilled this deck is stupid any any idiot can run this deck any idiot could pick up this deck and probably win a couple duels. I'm going to say it. No offense to any of my subscribers. I, I, I had fun with this deck. I'm the idiot that played it. I'm the idiot that made it. Even though a lot of these are based off the show. Some of these were from me. So, overall, I'm going to give him a one bar in skill. And that's only because of pity for spiritual water and shallow grave. That's pity. He should have had a zero. Or a half a bar. I'm going to give him one out of pity. So, one bar in skill. This is not a skilled deck. This, there's nothing skilled here for you to use. It'll never affect you winning or losing the duel. The only thing that matters is attack and defense and speed. So, let's go ahead and talk about the brick stat. So, the brick stat, let's look. Nope. One, this is a little bricky. This card's bricky. I could just count this is a full brick card. This card can be bricky. So, I'm going to have to count these as bricky. These cards, not so much. These cards, not so much. I know you have to get a Legendary Ocean, but it's not hard to. Not Bricky at all. Not Bricky at all. Um, usually will not be Bricky. Uh, not Bricky. Not Bricky. Not Bricky. Not Bricky. Not Bricky. Not Bricky. Okay. So, Brick, 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 Brick. Possible Brick. Possible Brick. I'm going to go with a 5. This deck is a 5 bar in Brick. You actually can Brick using this deck. It is a little bit field spell reliant to stop the Brickiness from happening. So I'm just going to say it. This is a 5 bar when it comes to Brick. This deck is Brickable. Now it's not super Bricky. It's not, it's not super unbrickable. It's just Brickable. It can happen. And if it does happen to you, I will feel pity for you. Like if you start the duel with this guy, 3 of these guys, and like 3 of these waves or something that would really suck this deck can definitely brick on you i'm just gonna say at five bars this deck is brickable but that's not what we're here for we want to know the potential of the admiral the potential of this one-off character that Jaden dueled what is his potential for winning the tournament well i saw mako tsunami he didn't do too good but i also never saw this much power in a deck this attack stat with this defense stat with this speed stat overall is definitely good. I've won quite a few deck uh, duels with this deck. I've also lost a couple duels with this deck. Honestly, looking at the Admiral, it's a pretty solid deck. It's actually pretty freaking good. And because it's pretty freaking good, I'm going to say it. I'm going to give him a three-star potential. This deck could win a tournament. This deck could win the tournament. But more likely, you're just going to win a bunch of duels. And then maybe you'll make it to semis. I don't know. 
I would say this deck could win a tournament. This deck could be very good. Just try not to break, okay? And overall, it's actually it's actually pretty pretty freaking cool. But it can definitely get outskilled. Just like how Kaiba had a beater deck in the Battle City tournament, it could be outskilled super easily. If you have a skill-based opponent, they could probably destroy you. Because there's no real destruction cards in here except for Orca Whale, so... You're going to have to attack your opponent. Um, if you're forced to attack your opponent and they use a skill-based deck, you might be in trouble. Overall, though, I would just say this deck is three stars. This deck could win the tournament. This deck is really fun. So, I'll see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed the Admirals deck, and bye bye